2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, as this next golfer starts the day, what are you thinking about their chances? Look, this player starts off the final round a couple behind the lead. And let's face it, they need to have some inspiring golf out there today. They need to make birdies early and often if they want to chase down that leader. It sets up for a very exciting final round. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Wow, he let the big dog eat there, didn't he? And let's see what he can do here today. Playing from around 110 yards out. Went straight down. Going with the 9-iron, nine -nine, I think. Okay, not the best result, but a chance to get up and down. Not too sure what they were thinking. Too much club. Oh, Rich, how good is that? Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Currently at minus three for the event. Here we are at the second tee. Nice birdie in the last hole for a change. First one of the day. They needed it desperately. Now, next hole, looking for more. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. Going with the hybrid. And that was a bit of a misfire. Looking at the caddy, a bit too much club there. Getting ready to play their third. Didn't that look good for a long time? And if this can go down, he'll save par. That gets the job done. Currently at three under for the event. Here we are at the third. And after that part, they're looking for something good here. Going with the five wood. Yeah, this one is uh, veering off a little bit to the right. Well, at least it's on the green. That's the positive. Anything in five feet would be handy from here.
That's disappointing. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Putt is underway. Yep, nice to make a mid-range par putt. And now at three under overall. Teeing off here at the fourth. And after a par at the last, chance to maybe take a step in the right direction here. Absolutely tattooed that drive. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? That's a high-quality recovery shot. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Ooh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. time to step onto the tee here at the fifth and only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right hand side the shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left hand side with maybe not quite a driver but from there it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards and thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity that's an awful error Henny what does that lie look like? They've got to use all the bounce and strength that they can muster. This is sitting down. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. close was that to going down this is a par putt That was a gallant attempt. Three feet to go here to the hole. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And unfortunately heading in the wrong direction on the leaderboard after that hole. Yeah, I can understand he'd be disappointed by the bogey, but here's an opportunity to bounce back. That's not the one he wanted. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Not a huge surprise missing the green here. That lie was awful. went down
OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, bit of extra juice needed. Get in. And down she goes from outside the range. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. And a par four awaits at this next hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Yeah, that one will play. Henny, what's the player facing here? Setting up here from about 190 yards. Looks to be going with the five iron. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Just a little off with the accuracy there. Unable to find the green. Yeah, Wynn took that one offline in a hurry. Getting ready to play their third. Beautiful shot. Ah, nicely done. Great chip. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. I'm glad we get to see this again. This one should be practiced at home. Solid play finds that player moving up the leaderboard after that hole. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Choosing the 9-iron nine -nine here. This one's heading left, I think. This would be a great up and down. Wow, that almost went in the hole. He has this putt to save his par. Well hold. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Teeing off now on the ninth hole. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. And if you hit it right of those, trees come into play. Bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green. But what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Opting for the five iron. And that shot back in the fairway. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> Nicely done. A chance to get amongst the action of the top 20. This putt drops.
Oh, that was such a good stroke. Ooh, right by the hole. An opportunity to make their par. And well hold. Let's move on. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich. And uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. Yeah, this lies pretty deep here. Getting ready to play their third. That's just inside the range. And this putt is for a big four on the scorecard. See, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And Henny, what are they looking at here? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. Go on, get in the hole. Nice little putt to hole, that one. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Teeing off here at the 11th. Tee shot is looking good here. Lining up from around 160 yards. Wind is blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the wind back to this pin. Going with the eight iron here. Oh, this needs a little right turn, Clyde. Not a bad play, that one. 16 feet to the cup. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Oh, so close. An opportunity to make a par here. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. Currently four under for the event. Teeing off here on the 12th hole. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that greenside bunker. All right, facing a little up and down here to save the par. Didn't that look good for a long time? This putt is of nine feet. Nice little par putt here.
Birds will hold. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Time to see what this par four has in store. That's a tad disappointing, isn't it? Henny, I'm sure you've got a better look of that lie. Oh, some smiles here. A bit of luck in the second cut. It's sitting nicely. Well, good-looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Do you think they drew that up differently in their mind? Now, from that lie, missing the green was always an option. Oh, wonderfully played chip shot. Got to say, his short game is phenomenal. And that puddle drop. Well done. And now four under for the tournament. Teeing off now on the 14th hole. Luke, that's a stonking drive. This shot from around 210 yards. Opting for the five wood. Nothing good out to the right. This is a trouble. Yeah, well, it might not be on the green, but it's right up near the surface. What a sensational play on this par five there, Luke. And here we are with the third shot. Ooh, wouldn't that have been nice? Sitting at minus four. Wow. Oh, that almost went in. Yeah, that's a touch of class. Terrific little chip. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And as the school card suggests, heading up the leaderboard. Time to hit a good one here at the 15th. This one needs to kick left. Yeah, that was a safe play. Well, this would be a bonus. This is a very long putt. This has a real chance. The putt drops, now at five under, heading down the stretch. And that will take him to five under. Oh, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. Thing of beauty. Eight shots back after that hole. Ting off here. 
on the 16th hole. Wonderfully played. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 195 yards. Opting for the hybrid, I think. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? <laughs> That's almost a gimme. Great chip. Love watching this player around the greens. Yeah, we'll take that. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. Time to face a par four now. Really hoping they play this one aggressively. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the 17th. Oh, almost went in. Well, that's a handy shot. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. That's tracking. And racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will move him to six under par. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. Well, it's come down to this, the final hole. Welcome to the 18. Well done. This shot from about 190 yards out. Ooh, yeah, no, not where they wanted to go. This one's left. Unable to find the green on this one. Sitting at minus six. Time now for the fourth shot. Ooh, that almost went down. Lovely touch. Well played. Oh, Dr. Chapinski strikes again. And that'll wrap things up for him here at this tournament. Well, that was another spectacular day's viewing. I certainly enjoyed bringing the action alongside Rich Beam. And Henny, what did you witness down there? A victory over Harold Varner III? Luke, I don't even know what I witnessed. I need to go and sit in a dark room and think about that. I saw some incredible shots pulled off that should never have been pulled off. And in the end, Harold Varner III was beaten. I think this player will be so pleased with that that they'll use the confidence and just propel themselves forward in the next event and beyond.
Well, that's all we've got time for today. On behalf of myself, Luke Elvey, Rich Beam, Henny Koyak and John McCarthy, plus all the hard-working folks behind the action at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.